and the Task Force Committee on COVID-19 in Imo State has interfaced with the leadership of the National Union of Road Transport Workers in Imo State and the 27 Transition Committee Chairman in the local government areas of the state on the need to strengthen border closure in order to contain the spread of coronavirus in the state. Speaking while interacting with the leadership and stakeholders of the associations, the chairman of the task force, Professor Maurice Iwu, called on the association and the chairman to cooperate with the government's effort on closure of borders in order to achieve the results against the pandemic. It will charge the task force committee chairman to enforce the order of the government of Imo State on the prevention of COVID-19 in all the various local government areas. The road transport workers, because this uh, pandemic, this virus cannot move, cannot walk, cannot go anywhere without the help of human beings. And one group that are responsible for transportation is actually the road transport workers. So just transport human beings and don't transport any virus. So that's why it is important that we work with you. It is also important that we work with the, with the association because after this uh, COVID-19, there will be life after COVID-19. And we just don't on us because of how people are coming to our state that our state is actually an intersection. Today, Imo State is one of the states that are more safer. Also, I want to use the opportunity to thank the the task force for the wonderful job they have been doing. Last time we were called and we were sensitized. And after the sensitization, we took it down to the grassroots. We even promised, uh, we even promised them our support in case if some drivers go contrary to the, the, the rules. They can be disciplined. And uh, I want to tell you that today, our drivers are, are observing all those rules. And uh, we will relent. We will continue to sensitize them. We will continue to make sure that uh, all the instruction given from carrying social number of people, uh, nose mask, and uh, even the ones, the interstate uh, commuters, which we said they should stop operating. We will continue to observe this to help the government. The task force committee also handed over face masks to 27 local government transition committee chairman of Imo State to distribute in the various local governments in order to contain the spread of the virus among the people living in rural communities. Yes, we have uh, an interactive session with our state committee chairman, task force on COVID-19, Professor Morrissey. He has uh, briefed us uh, on the status of the, um, uh, the battle against coronavirus in Imo State. And we have listened to him. He has given us some charges that were taken down to our local governments to ensure that we maintain the status of almost zero uh, position of uh, coronavirus in Imo State. Uh, those of us living at the boundary area, like I said, I'm from Oru West, uh, the entry point from most of the endemic areas like Lagos, Ogun State, Abuja. We are trying to make sure that um, we combat the pandemic right down there in Oru West. And um, we've come here today, we've carried some uh, materials particularly the face marks, we are going to make sure that uh, most of the people around that locality is given this face mask because I think, like we normally hear people say, don't touch the mouth, don't touch the eyes, don't touch the nose. So the face mask is very, very essential in this battle. We use it to make sure that uh, we prevent the, the, uh, the contamination of our body through that, um, because of the COVID-19.